Let's go to Kamchatka. Evacuate the Kaminji Research Complex. Enemies here are none other than the Lunar Corporation. The troops of the Lunar Corporation are attacking our most strategically important research complex. Secure all vital construction plans. <laughs> Babushka's in rage! <laughs> the Kaminji Research Complex is being attacked by enemy troops of the Lunar Corporation. Daughters of bitches. <laughs> Secure the Gru's construction vehicle. There are important construction plans on board. They were rescued just in time. Make your way to our outpost in the west at all costs. We need those plans urgently. May glorious success accompany you. Signed, Colonel Zugai Schacht. So there you have it. We got shit to do. In fact, we got some big old shit to do right now. We gotta run. Now let's just hope we don't actually have to get some fucking... Ah shit, we just might have to. Holy shit. That's a lot of them. Shit. Fucking moons are here. Moons are the most uh, commonly seen, uh, uh, well, units <laughs> from the Lunar Corporation. But they also come with electro cannons, it seems. I don't think the builder will be able to escape. Seems that the enemy is already building up in our base. I think the poor Gruz is going to die. But let's keep watching. Who knows, maybe he'll accidentally outrun the enemy. Would be some shit, wouldn't it? Do I have any auto saves? Oh yes, we do. This game was smart enough to include auto saves, you know. Unlike machines. I'm not trying to shit on machines while it's for war, just so you know. It's just that I think it has done some mistakes that should have been avoided. Are you kidding me? He's gonna outrun the fuckers? What the fuck? <laughs> we actually survived? Wow, that was easy. Congratulations, comrade. The construction vehicle is safe. We need the data on board to develop a new type of weapon. The laser cannon. Since we do not have much time until the next enemy attack, you must construct three research centers as quickly as possible. Well, this is interesting, right? Not only did we manage to cheat death, because I really didn't think this would work out, but now we also have to deal with some uh, issues. You see, the enemy, he's not quite done with us yet. He wants us dead. Let's build another Gruz. Can we do more research? Oh yes we can, we can start building a new type of chassis and upgrade the Cossack too and build some rocket launchers and upgrade some uh, 105mm bullets Oh wait, those are the tank shells, yeah Now we get some fucking research going We also unlocked the ability to build the repair uh, 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 module Yeah Repair modules are useful. They are basically your medics. Let's queue up some uh, units. They're bound to get attacked anytime soon. What can we do? Nothing here. Nothing here. I know Palmiers can get some fucking uh, cannons attached to them. But that's probably later. Let's build some weapons production facilities. We will need them. In this game, I really suggest that you build more, uh, more fucking uh, production facilities, because one is just too slow. 
We have discovered that our forces were able to secure a laser cannon prototype. It is located in a system of tunnels underneath the destroyed research complex. You must immediately secure this vital offensive system. We can then equip one more of our units with this fearsome weapon. Our research department tells us that it is not possible to dig a tunnel to reach the cannon. The mountains in the southeast prevent that. That is the reason behind your latest command. Attack the Lunar Corporation in the extreme southeast of this region and construct a tunnel entrance in order to reach the weapon. And then escort the laser unit back home. So yeah, this is where it gets kind of interesting, right? Shit is getting real! We got some goonies right now. Let's let them do this thing on their own. I think they are hitting the aircraft. Yeah, they are. Which is good. We want them to do that. If you tell them to attack the aircraft, then you have air anti-aircraft units. The units who can't attack aircraft will just focus on what they were focusing before. They won't try to attack something that they can't. Which is good. You want that. You want your units to be smart. These guys are running away. Whatever. Let's take the advantage. LC units usually use uh, these huge buildings, known as the main bases, to build their units. They build just about everything here, from civilians to militaries. Therefore, destruction of these buildings is essential. They also come with four weapon mounts, which you absolutely must destroy if you ever hope of... Uh, getting through. Well, you can't destroy the mounted weapons, but you have to destroy these facilities if you want to get through. They also have the most health out of all the buildings. So, as you'll notice, this is gonna be a bit of a tough fight. Luckily, another attack force is already available, and I'm gonna send it over here right now. The boyers are coming in. Uh, how many boys we got? Four. Means none of them got hit. Good. When buildings are destroyed, they are usually left as nothing else but a nice rubble of de a nice pile of rubble and debris. Here's the problem: you'll have to move around the debris most of the time, and it can be used uh, against you as a wall. A wall that, well. You can kind of shoot over, but it's gonna take some extra effort to do so. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing, mind you. In fact, it can be very useful. Mm, I, I wanna select my units, not the fucking boyer. Here we go. Alright, well we destroyed three of the main base uh, buildings uh, from LC, which means their unit construction is significantly gimped. And even if they manage to destroy us here now, they're gonna have some trouble with that, because, well, it just so fucking happens that we got another fucking force coming in. Luckily, there is a solution to our issues. Attack the power plants and, pow and the batteries. Energy for LC is stored in solar batteries. They collect this energy from the solar power plants during the day. Without this electricity, however, their units, well, they're not their units, their buildings, will be completely defenseless. In any attack of a, in any base attack, you want to destroy the electricity as soon as possible. Because trying to deal with all of the defenses it's it's difficult but if you can destroy their power grid or just cripple it hard enough for the defenses to be shut down you got it you have practically defeated them when you're attacking the solar power plants attack the main building not the dishes not the plates 
because the plates are just uh, singular units which collect some amount of electricity whereas if you destroy the main building you will destroy all of them at the same time plus it's the main building that sends electricity to the power to the to the batteries so once the building is gone the batteries no longer receive any electricity as you can see right here the main bases are no longer functional but why is that there's still a battery right well kinda yes here's the thing batteries require at least one power plant to work I don't know if it's intentional or a bug it happens in all three of the earth 2150 games well let's just uh, think it's intentional because it's a uh, it's something you have to keep in mind when you have the, the last power plant destroyed all it'll take is to get rid of the batteries to make sure you're perfectly safe and you're good and it seems like the enemy was already starved to death with the resources you can destroy the debris if you want I would recommend doing that because it just blocks your way but yeah, now you can see that the main bases are no longer attacking us. That means they completely ran out of energy and they can't do anything. They can't even build units. The bases are at our mercy now. Speaking of which... We want to send this guy here, because we gotta retrieve uh, some uh, missing technology after all. This, this is where the speed up uh, function is useful. Units are not particularly fast in this game. You want them to go a little faster, but that's just a thing that you can't really do. Luckily for us, we have a speed up function, which makes our waiting efforts that much faster. And in case you're wondering, no. I have not made any modifications to the game, we're playing it as it is. I honestly don't know how to mod this game and I don't really want to know. The game is good as it is. Whereas Machines Wired for War, I like modding it for my modding videos, which are mostly just bullshit things, like how, how silly a weapon can be made. Or how many nukes can we drop on one building to make an awesome mushroom cloud. Basically, all kinds of stupid shit. Anyway, let's get straight to digging. To get underground, you'll need a tunnel entrance. Luckily, you can build it anywhere you want, as long as it well allows you to build it. This is the only, This is one of the few buildings that do not require electricity. It comes with its own generator. Once you enter the tunnel entrance, press tab, and you will now access the tunnels. Within the tunnels, we don't have much of anything different, to tell you the truth. Oh, what's that? That, I believe, is our missing... Yep, yeah, that's our missing technology down there. We drive over to this guy. And I think I changed his... Uh, yeah, here we go. You can change the script of units. And as you can see, there's simple battle unit, advanced battle unit, and some other shit. Advanced battle units will get tons of buttons to play with. And, uh, well, it's useful if you want to make them do specific things. Like, you can make them actually have evasion strategies. You can make them uh, hit specific targets, like the nearest or the weakest. You can tell them whether to shoot at will or hold fire or return fire. You can tell them what to do with lights. You can tell them if, it, if they chase enemies or not. It's quite advanced. This game does have uh, quite a bit of shit to work with. It's not just a regular fuck around with the mooks kind of a deal. Trust me. Well, 
But I do happen to have quite a bit of units here, don't I? <laughs> Maybe a little too much. Let's hope we can move out, move out before our laser unit comes back. The laser is our faction's energy weapon. Each energy weapon has its own specific kind of a trait. For instance, the electro cannons disable units when they hit enough times. Or if enough units hit the one unit at the same time, it's basically the same thing. UCS has a plasma cannon for its energy weapon. It doesn't have a very special trait. It doesn't disable units or do or it doesn't do what uh, our laser cannons do. What it does is just deal a lot of damage. It's a very powerful gun. The laser cannons they don't do a lot of damage at all actually. But what makes them special is the fact that they work with yet another stat you have to take into account. Temperature. Every unit has a special meter for temperature, which we don't see normally. It's uh, disabled by default, but you can turn it on. What's it good for? Well, it's good for determining whether or not your fucking thing is about to blow. You see, there's this, there's this very, very neat little thing about lasers, and it's uh, the thing that they generate a lot of heat. In fact, they are practically beams of heat. And you know what happens to a lot of heat when it hits a specific target? Well, that target gets real hot. The laser works on that principle. It heats up units up until they get too hot and they blow up. Which is what makes our laser units very important. Laser cannons are able to overheat other enemy units very fast. Especially the fully upgraded versions where we can have up to 5 laser cannons on one gun. <laughs> on one fucking tank. They get really fucking powerful later on. For now we only have one cannon. A single mount, if you will. It's not entirely powerful, but it's already something. And here we go. Victory! Now we can equip our valiant troops with a laser cannon. From now on our enemies will be grilled. Ha! Return to the main base, commander. New missions for the glory of the ED await you. Postscriptum, General Fedorov has recommended you for the ED Bravery Medal with Crossed Sabers. Ain't that some shit? Uh, don't mind the money collected glitching, it always does that when you cheat. <laughs> but yeah, we have finally done it. We have unlocked the laser cannon, which I think we can already put on. Well, maybe not on this unit. Maybe not on this unit. Okay, so we don't have it. <laughs> Shit. But we have access to some new fake units. Well, one in particular. The fake ZT. Which is Siberia. Let's see. Siberia has 750. Ah, yes. Siberia is like an upgraded version of our good old Taiga. We're gonna go with a Siberia rocket launcher. Because it has a lot of health, rocket launchers also have plenty of ammo, and they can attack air units, which is good. You know, I noticed something. There's this mine we got here, and it's just sitting around being fucking useless. Hmm. Let's get one of these transporters and see if he can make it do something useful. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna check here. Ah, I see. We might be able to do that one more mission. I don't see why not. I also took ED because of some certain sub-missions. You see, different factions have slightly different sub-missions. I know Lunar Corporation has 
submissions which are kind of interesting uh, Lunar Corporation has this uh, alien vehicle which you have to use throughout most of the missions it's kind of like a hero unit it's pretty powerful you do some submissions with it testing and whatnot I think uh, ED has a submission with uh, a particular hacker, but we'll find that out soon enough. Alright, all research is completed. Let's check this place out. Leviathan. Order number F and E. 22101. We have captured a few UCS battle robots. We shall use them as test objects for our new weapon prototype, the laser cannon. Your mission is to bring the vehicle with the laser cannon to the test site where you will destroy the test objects. Try to discover any weaknesses in the new weapon. The laser cannon does not damage a unit's outer casing. It heats up the interior of the target to such an extent that ammunition or fuel within ignites causing a tremendous explosion and the destruction of the target. I await the results with keen interest. Signed, Igor Burkov. You heard the boss. Comrades, Kurchatov has developed a new laser weapon. Tests have proven its extraordinary effectiveness. This is a further step towards final victory. With this fearsome weapon, no enemy will dare stand in our way.
very nice fireworks display indeed. How I envy, envy you, comrade. I can almost smell the burning flesh of our enemies. We won't see them again for a while. Return to base for your next mission. Let's do that. Do we have anything to research? No. Usually new research unlocks with a new mission. And uh, later, uh, well, next time we will have two missions to choose from. Look at the map. As you can see, some of the world's regions have started to melt down. The middle of Africa is already unfrozen. It's kind of like what it would be normally in the uh, in uh, Eastern Europe right now. Most of South America is unfrozen. And a bit of uh, North America and Central America is unfrozen, but the uh, majority of the world is still in the tight grip of the Ice Age. The next two missions will be about collecting more resources and destroying more bases, but that'll be later. Let's save up. Let's call it like this. Alright, this was the first recording session of uh, F2150. I hope I didn't sound like too much of a dipshit uh, or a boring bastard. Guess, uh, well. This is the first time I record this f for an actual playthrough. And probably the first time I record a strategy game for the channel. Still kind of awkward. I'm Wild Richards, and I will see you next time.